Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I am back with another 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe styling video. This one is for spring and this video is also a collaboration with Alex from Tinted Green. She is a Sacramento based blogger and YouTuber who focuses on slow fashion, capsule wardrobes, motherhood and living a conscious lifestyle. She will also be creating her own spring 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe so I encourage you to go check out her video. I'll leave her information linked in the description box below and I just have my little book here with all my notes so the last 10 by 10 I did was for my winter capsule wardrobe and I wanted to change a little few things this time around last time I actually chose 10 items of clothing and this time I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more and stick to just eight items of clothing and then two pairs of shoes what I didn't include again this time around is handbags so I have three handbags that I'll be showing you today that I did not include in the 10 items. So we are working with fewer pieces this time, but we still have a lot of different combinations that we can put together for different outfits. So I want to start off by walking you through the 10 items that I chose here on the rail. And then the idea is to put 10 outfits together, so I'll show you how I style all of them. So let's jump right in. So the first item that I chose is something I always go with, and that is a plain white t-shirt. I don't think I could do a 10 by 10 or any type of caps wardrobe without this. It's a total staple. This one is from Oreja and it's a beautiful hemp and organic cotton blend shirt so it's really comfortable and soft and I really like this one for spring because it's a really nice lightweight material as well. The blouse that I chose is this um, washable silk blouse. This one is from Last Brand and I love the short sleeve and I love this neutral color palette that I try to kind of stick with throughout my entire capsule wardrobe so that I knew everything was going to pair together really easily. It's really nice. It's something that's easy to style and you can definitely dress this up a little bit if you need to. Um, and then I also included, this is the Raglan sweatshirt from Pop Linen. And this is also in a really similar off-white, kind of yellowish color that I really, really like. And it's similar to the other colors of the tops that I've shown you so far and a few other things that I have on the rack here. This is really important because one, it's comfortable. We're all putting together outfits right now, mostly to just stay at home. Um, but it also provides another layer of warmth. And no capsule wardrobe is complete for me without some kind of cardigan or knitwear piece. So for this 10x10, 10 10, I went with this um, long line beige cardigan that is a favorite of mine. It's quite old and it's from ASOS, so they don't make it anymore, but I will link something really similar. It's also something that I love to wear when I'm working or when I'm just lounging around the house because I can kind of take it on and off as I need it. And for outerwear, I wanted to go for something that would keep me warm if I need it, but that is also relatively light and um, sticks with the color palette that we have here. So I went with my workwear jacket. This is an older one from Aritzia, um, but Cezanne actually makes a really, really similar one called the Will's Jacket, so I will link that below. And this is just the perfect spring layering piece. It's kind of a heavy cotton, uh, almost like a denim, but a little bit lighter than that. Yeah, it works really similarly to like a denim jacket, except it's in this lovely white color and it has a kind of different um, cut to it that makes it really spring-like and really kind of unique. And because it is a spring 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe, I definitely wanted to include a dress. So I went with my trusty floral print dress. This one is pretty old from Mango, but it's one of my favorite pieces in my closet because it's unlike a lot of things that I wear, but it's really fun to style and it's really comfortable. Um, and I love this one because it has a really kind of ditzy floral print that is just super cute and spring-like and feminine. Um, and this one, I plan to kind of layer it up with all these different pieces here and style it in really different ways. And for pants, I included two options, both that are on the kind of lighter color palette that goes with the rest of the stuff here. The first is a pair of Everlane straight leg pants. These are in a lovely like off-white oatmeal shade. Um, so really fun to style and a nice spring neutral. And the second is a pair of light wash denim. These are the trusty Levi wedgie jeans. 
that I just love. I just love having a stable pair of light wash denim jeans. These are like a straight leg cut, high waisted, and that nice vintage denim feel, so not a lot of stretch in them. And this is just a really basic piece that I feel kind of finishes off any capsule wardrobe. And for shoes, I went with the two options to finish off my 10 pieces here. The first being this pair of black leather sandals. This is from a new brand called Either Or, and all of their pieces are ethically made in Mexico, and I just love the style of these sandals. These, I believe, are called the crossband style. They have a nice back to them, and really simple but classic uh, kind of square toe. So these are just a great stable piece for going into spring. The second pair of shoes that I went with are my trusty white Beja Esplars. Um, these I mostly chose because they stick really well with this neutral color palette, but also they're just a really comfortable shoe to have and a really nice string staple. And for handbags, I have a few here to choose from. So I usually choose a black handbag and then a like beige or brown handbag. So the first one is this Staud Bissett bag. This is one of my favorites and I love this um, like warm brown leather color. I think it looks really nice with these kind of yellow or off-white neutral tones and it's a really cute spring bag. I'm also including just a really simple black crossbody bag. This one is from Kate Spade and I will link something similar in the description box along with everything else that you see here today. This is just like your basic staple bag, great for every day and running around and it pairs really easily with black sandals and with obviously this kind of color palette. And the last bag I chose is actually just a simple canvas bag. This is a nice thing to have when you're like running errands and I don't know, there's something about like a plain canvas tote bag that just feels very spring-like to me. This one is actually from a company called Dot Cup and it has this cute little design on it. So just great for like checking things in as you're running around town. And I just wanted to include that so I have another option styling-wise. So those were all of the items in my spring 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. Now I'm going to put them all together and show you how I make 10 outfits from these items.
So that is all for this video. Please let me know which of the 10 outfits was your favorite. You can leave that in the comments. And be sure to check out the video that Alex made over at Tinted Green YouTube channel. I'll leave it all linked in the description box below. She also did a spring 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe, so make sure you check that out for more ideas. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.